Shalom, and welcome to another installment of uh, Apostles of GMS giving all praise to you. How about Shem Shai? Today's topic is going to be a continuation from last week's uh, show, um, which was, um, what was the title? Uh, getting the Record Straight. Um, this is going to be uh, installment number two. Today's date is February 28th. Tomorrow is going to be the 1st of March, February 28th. Um, uh, 2015 and like last week's uh, show we went into different things because there's a lot of controversy um between the different camps out there you know some believe that Cornelius is an Edomite others believe that Cornelius is an Israelite um the mark of the beast whether it's the chip or it's an embargo or it's, or it's Christianity or what other things because we're going to cover all that you know we might even touch go back into the Cornelius thing and the Gentile issue, you know, or the rape, the rape issue. Uh, what else? Somebody help me out. What other issue? Yeah, hating the two-thirds or whether, yep, 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 that's right. Yeah, so there, there's a lot of things. So, oh, oh, the name, yeah, he made, he made another recent video and he's getting on us for saying the name of the most high and just because you say the name of the most high that don't mean you're going to make it you know he's he's an afterthought he's not even he's not even interesting he's not he's there's nothing intriguing about that guy you know he's he's mad because he's losing people you know um oh the, uh, we're going to go back into the thing you have uh yeah he's out of his mind yeah Nate is out of his mind he's losing his mind he, he's losing his men too um the situation with Esau, you got these new guys on the scene, you know, uh, saying that Esau is not the, not the so-called white man. I mean, that's a simple simple thing to 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 deal with to break down. Uh, there was some other uh, issues on whether Esau can make it, you know. Or oh, we went into uh, the situation with James. We touched on that. We might go back into that and um, about the Gentiles. In uh, Acts, uh, was it Acts, the fifteenth chapter, which leads you back to uh, Amos, um, the ninth chapter. Um, there was years ago. I said James had went off. I said James did go off. He went off because when he made that statement, that wasn't a fulfillment of uh, of uh, Amos uh, nine. It wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't fulfill. When that when that scripture is fulfilled. Amos the ninth chapter. Matter of fact, go to that. When that scripture is fulfilled, then we'll be in the kingdom. The fulfillment of that is when the kingdom comes. So going back two thousand years ago, was did the kingdom establish? No, the kingdom the kingdom was not established, man. The men were being brought together, but Paul spoke about there was going to be a falling away first, because they kept thinking in their lifetime that the kingdom was going to come in their lifetime. That, that the Lord was going to come back. You going to that? And uh, uh, Second Thessalonians. Yeah, matter of fact, go to that. <coughs> okay. Uh, second chapter, right? Yeah. Uh, this is the book of Second Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians, chapter two, verse one. Um, it says, "Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai." And by our gathering together unto him. Because this, this, that was the main thing they were looking for back then. Was They were looking for the uh, appearance of Yahweh Shai coming back. Because they figured that once the Lord came on the scene and suffered. You know. That immediately the kingdom of heaven was supposed to appear. And actually there's a scripture that, that says that. That's what I was uh, just looking for. If I can pull it up real quick. Because they, they weren't... Um, they didn't understand that there were still uh, s certain things that had to uh, had to take place uh, <laughs> back then. To um, that 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 actually had to take place back then, and, and the Lord had to suffer in order for for the uh, um, the Lord to appear. You know, and there was a lot of a lot of prophecies that still weren't fulfilled back then. You know that that proved that that b back then wasn't the time. Uh, um, for the Lord to make his uh, appearance. You had some, uh, Elder Menachem? All right, good. 
Yeah, this, this is just to back up what, what the apostle said. This is uh, the book of Acts, chapter 1 and, and uh, verse 6. It says, when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom of to Israel? So that goes to show, like the apostles were saying, that's what they were looking for. So they thought back then the kingdom was going to be established back then. That's why, you know, when they was following Yahweh Shai and everything, they didn't understand. And Yahweh Shai was telling them that he had to go back to the Father first, man. The prophecy had to happen. Then when the Most High uh, uh, had Paul come come on the scene and reveal to Paul that, look, that time ain't going to come first until a falling away comes first, which Yahweh Shai prophesied about, which was the besiege of uh, Jerusalem. That was, that's the point. That's the point of uh, that scripture in um, Second Thessalonians that, that, that we're reading. You know, matter of fact, let me just read this real quick. This is uh, Luke nineteen and eleven. It says, "And as they heard these things, he added and spake a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of the Most High should immediately appear. Why? Because the, the Messiah was there." And they knew that, that after, after the Messiah suffered and came back, that the kingdom was supposed to come. But they didn't understand that there was... See, they, they really didn't have the full concept of understanding of the times of the Most High. Which means they went off. That's why they had to be corrected. <laughs> That's right. You know? So they, they, really didn't have, they really didn't have the understanding of the, the, how time works with the Most High. Like when they actually read the book of Genesis, I'm the first... Sorry. That's why you ain't got no business being out, being on YouTube and being out there on the streets. Like when they, I'm sorry, go ahead, go ahead. No, like, like, like when they read the book of Genesis, the first chapter, back then they probably thought that that was an actual day, an actual 24-hour day, a seven-day period, a week, you know, in, in our time. But then when, when the Lord put the Spirit on Peter, he, he broke it down that, 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 was, a th that was a a period of a thousand years for each day of the Lord in, in creation. No. Yeah, to prove that they didn't understand the other scripture, shit, what was it offhand? When they asked you how it was shy, it could have been in Matthew's, uh, at the, at, will thou at this time restore the kingdom onto it? Acts, Salakia, in the book of Acts, when uh, they asked him straight out, Yahweh Shai, talking, I'm talking about, will thou at this time restore the kingdom onto Israel? And then Yahweh Shai told him, it's not for you to know the time, man. They didn't know. That proved that that backs up an Acts that they didn't understand. So that means did they go? Did they not understand? Even when the Lord came, r r rose up, and came back, were they, were they going off when they said that? Yeah, they were, yeah, they were going off, yeah, right. just like James was going off. Look, we know what we're talking about. You know, like, like oh, Ari yeah, yeah, we know what we talk. You guys don't know what what you're talking about, man. You're winging it, man. You know what? Apostle Tahar is right. You guys don't know the scriptures. Y'all going off. I'm talking about you other. Well, that's why I call y'all bootleg camps. Y'all bootleg camps, man, like Barack. And, and not, we're not trying to start trouble. We're no, just being honest, man. Truth, you man. know what? The, and that's why Paul made that statement yeah, 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 in uh, yeah, yeah. Galatians 4 and 16. And, not, and I come your, become your enemy because I give you the truth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, you became an enemy to me because I gave you the truth, man. Yeah. Oh, when, when we got kicked out. Yeah. We gave him the truth. Yeah. Nate was behind. He was forefront in that thing, man. That's right. That's but right. now he teaches it, man. Yeah. So who was the enemy? You became an enemy to us because we gave you the truth. Yeah. Like I said, Nate is an afterthought, man. <laughs> He's insignificant, <laughs> man. And his pe and his people, they're, they're beginning to see that now, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's and them, right. And them same guys that were against us back then for teaching that Cornelius was an Israelite, some of them now teach that Cornelius is an Israelite. You know, but they, you'll notice they'll never go back into the history of what took place at that wicked council at 126th Street. You know why? Because they, they are full of shit. Because if you repent, they will tell the whole story. Yeah. They will tell, a whole, they will tell the, the, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yeah, and because it's funny. Like, what was that about a year ago, two years ago, Nate was quick to, he did a, a video which was totally off. He lied anyway. The video where he went into the history of Israel, talking about the school. And he totally went out. He lied on that. He lied out through his teeth. Okay? But if you want to tell, tell about 126, what you guys did, man. And you guys went off. And then you teaching the Cornelius is an Israelite, Nate, and certain other people. But now, y'all kicked us out of the school because we were teaching that. The brother that's sitting right behind me, uh, Apostle Gabal, through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, spirit got on him to bring that out. 
and whatnot. And then he brought it, he brought it up to Apostle Jahar, and then it came out and whatnot. And then uh, you got.